Hey everybody, it's me Russ, and what we got here is a Dodge Grand Caravan 2011 with a knock. The knock, knock, tick, tick, tick. Back. So first thing we're gonna do is take this thing off. Popped right off. And diagnose this issue. All right, so I've shut her down, and this is a Penstar. 3.6 liter V6. It's in the Dodge Caravan uh, Chrysler 300. You're going to find them in your six cylinder uh, Dodge Challengers and Chargers. It's a pretty common engine. This is a 2011, so this is one of the first years they used this engine, and the top end can be problematic with the uh, dual overhead cams and the roller rockers. and this is a fixable problem, all right? Don't let somebody tell you that, oh, you gotta get a new engine or you just trade it in and get something to the car salesman, they'll tell you that. <laughs> get, get a new one. Let me talk, let's talk payments, right? Let's, no, let's uh, try and fix the problem. It's not that big a deal, really. It's, honestly, there could be other things going on, but odds are, you know, you play the odds, it's the roller rockers. Tick, 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 that's usually a, they're notorious for that problem and I've already done one on this side already. So I, it sounds like I have to do another one. Uh, this van now has 200,000 miles on it, so it's getting up there. Uh, and again, change the transmission fluid, you change the oil in these things and, and they'll keep running. But this is another preventive maintenance kind of thing that an extra step for uh, having a Penstar engine. So I don't know if the newer ones are better, but yeah, roller rockers, dual overhead cams. They burn more efficiently. They tend to have more horsepower, but it's an issue. Uh, so one of the ways I'm going to diagnose this is, is using a, a mechanic stethoscope. And I bought this at Harbor Freight, right? Harbor Freight Tools uh, for, geez, like 10 bucks or something like that. Just really cheap. Uh, you don't need to go too expensive with something like this. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple technology. Um, but w the reason for this is you want to know, you want to know, there's a couple of, the longer one, just in case, uh, but you want to know which side you're going to need to replace, right? So you start the engine, and like a doctor listening to someone's heart or just breathe, you want me to warm this up for you, right? Is that going to be too cold? <laughs> you just, you put it on the, uh, the side of the, the heads right this engine is sideways so you're gonna to want to put it on the top and find out you can hear it you can hear tick 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 you can hear what size louder so I'm actually gonna put the longer uh, piece on it just screws on the end here so I can reach that other side okay so here's the uh, here's the engine here is your this is the valve cover uh, front side valve cover on the Dodge Caravan and the best place is to kind of is to hit this right here You see that nut that holds on the uh, valve cover That's gonna give you a good listen to what's going on on this side of the cylinder uh, And in the same for this side, which is harder to see Because <laughs> it's dark back there, but again you got uh, or you could just touch the head right here the bottom of it see right there that's where the head is uh, attached to the valve cover you can listen right there as well you can also do the same here it's right there but you can tell the difference when you find which roller rocker it is because i've done this before you can tell the difference which which side that tinging hanging noise is coming from when you uh when you touch this thing on there i've diagnosed that it's opposite side I did before now. So I'm going to have to, uh, now I'm gonna have to do that. So, but yeah, this, uh, this is something I wanted to throw out there. It's not on another video yet. So I figured I would, uh, I would do a video on it. Handy piece of equipment. Can't hear my heart though. Uh, I, I think I'm still ticking. Uh, so I wanted to show you also last time I did this, uh, I bought a couple extras because I did hear that this is a n notorious problem. So I bought I bought extras. It's a good thing to do. This was like ten bucks 
from the dealership, which I was surprised. This is one of those parts that whether it was a AutoZone, O'Reilly's, you know, around here, the auto parts shops, uh, it was about the same price at the dealership. They must go through a lot of these. This is the bad one. You hear that? That's the sound you're hearing. That's the engine noise. That's what you're hearing. Uh, it's like bad. This one. See that? Nice spring. There's like a, a spring or something in here. I don't know. But you can see this one. Like it's moving. See that? It's moving around. Shouldn't be doing that. That's not good. So that's, that's what that dock is. That's what that sound is. It's this stupid $10 roller rocker that you have to take your intake manifold off to get to. Right? You have to take your intake manifold off and your valve covers. Another uh, tip about the valve covers on this, depending on the shape they're in, uh, they have like a, a, a silicone rubber seal. I don't think it's rubber, I think it's more like silicone that goes around the whole outside of it. And I would inspect it because I did not replace, I know, I know this is like, mechanics will be mad at me for this. I think it's because they're trained to, you know, make money. <laughs> Right. You always got to replace the gasket, man. You got to replace the gasket. And and yeah, man, if this car was a Chrysler that was made in the 60s or 70s or, or even 80s, uh, 90s, <laughs> well into the 90s, you know, they had gaskets with uh, stuff that you had to put, you know, they don't do that anymore. Uh, technology has advanced. So if the rubber seal is in good shape, I would... Keep it, man. There's no need to fix what's not broke, all right? Uh, so keep that in mind. Just just look at it, make sure it's in good shape, put it back on. I did that with this, and it's not leaking a drop of oil. So there's another uh, another tip for you. Here's some videos uh, that show you how to do that. Get into it. Later. Till next time. Hey, subscribe to the channel, man. Please subscribe to the channel. Click on the chicken with the sunglasses, and uh, uh, I'll see you see you on the road, man. All right, later. Bye.